Hello, it's Australia with a reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Hope this much finds everyone well. And watch out for scammers in the comment section soliciting you for readings. That's not me. I really appreciate you all so much. Hello, new subscribers. Hello, everyone that's been there since the very beginning. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support of one another in the comment section. And all of your good energy. I really appreciate you. Um, Six of Swords. Seven of Cups Reverse. Hmm. Traveling, moving, transitioning. Moving from drama to calmer waters, healing, transitioning to a more healing energy, moving away from drama, letting ego battles go. Seven of Cups reverse, some sort of confusion, fog. It's it's doesn't seem good because it's like someone seems maybe someone's trying to create some confusion for someone who's trying to heal. They're trying to block their pathway. Seven of Cups or someone's moving moving to find peace. There's a lot of confusion and there could be addictions here, overindulgence, too many options. Um it's like distractions and things like that, stopping them from being their best. Or someone's trying to create confusion for someone. It's definitely picking up on some <clears throat> pretty dark energy, so I'm wondering if it's going to show up in this reading. Very, very dark. Um, Okay, so we have a Queen of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Reverse. The challenge for someone is this Queen of Swords, someone who's very forthright, graceful, intelligent, perceptive. Five of Pentacles, Reverse. Recovering from something, getting out of the cold, not in a dark night of the soul. Um... The other thing that this could be, this could be a, a queen of swords who's challenging someone. Um, this could be a queen of swords who's challenging someone who's very critical and cutting and biting. So, so let's, I'm going to get through and then clarify. Um, strength reverse in the subconscious. It's like someone's spirit is very low. They don't think they can get through something. Or someone wants someone to feel that way. Or there's a big ego battle. Someone's ego is driving them. But that's in the subconscious. Or they feel very weak spirited. In the recent past, whoever this is, or whatever this is, there was some sort of a blessing. Something tangible. Something good happened here for someone. So we have a king of pentacles in the upright as an intention with page of cups and ace of swords. So this is a king of so a king of pentacles. This is a masculine energy leader, good uh, business leader, good with money, very much in charge. Um, someone that people can count on, dependable. Um, Page of Cups, this could be um, a, some reflective reflective words, some kind words, some sensitive feelings, reflection, reflecting on something. Ace of Swords, that's communication, that's truth, that's clear communication, that's clarity. Some sort of um, communication or clarity, some kind words. Um, or a truth about a situation as it relates to this King of Pentacles. Um, the very sensitive, sweet words. Um, someone might have some something nice to say to someone. They want to s express themselves in a very clear and honest way. This could be uh, an apology, even. Um, it's the truth. 
there could be, this can represent a child as well, Page of Cups, but I'm not feeling like that's what this is, but we'll clarify. In the near future, death. So we've got a huge transformation coming for someone. Something is very much over. Um, nothing will ever be the same again after this. A total ending and it's in the upright. So some cycle that's been going on for quite a while is, is over. Someone could feel like this Queen of Swords, um, like they need to say something to this person. They've, they've been really confused. They've been distracted. They know they need to heal themselves, but they've just been in like a, um, maybe a lustful energy or in a fog. And someone's out in the cold. There's something about this Queen of Swords that is the opposite of the Seven of Cups. This Queen of Swords is very sure about what they do and don't want. They're very um, clear-headed. So these Seven of Cups doesn't go well reverse with this Queen of Swords. And maybe that's why someone feels out in the cold. They could have made this Queen of Swords an option or there could be um, someone is like traveling in like a nomadic way and just very confused, but they're trying to heal. Whatever this is, it leads to a big ending. Someone is um, looking at a person who's waiting for their ships to come in or traveling, maybe waiting for someone to, come, to arrive. Um, eye on the prize, something that someone's been working towards. It could be some sort of something creative. Um, I also see this King of Swords here. Um, it might have something to do with this. Nine of Wands. I feel like that wants to come out as well. So there's this King of Swords who is a masculine energy that's very much in charge. Master of Thought. This is a very just individual, very good at what they do. Um, with this Three of Wands, it could be this King of Swords that is is traveling um, and perhaps protecting this person who's like a battle-wounded soldier who's waiting for their ships to come in. Someone's looking at this King of Swords. Someone could have been through a lot here or someone could yeah someone's still trying they're trying something they're trying to it looks like they're they've got some some something they're trying to complete um and there's this king of swords here who's i feel like offering a hand it feels energetic though i mean it could be a, a judge it could be archangel michael it could be a masculine energy who's very much in their um mind over heart mode, very protective. Um, they have a bird's eye view of something so they can really see something that's going on. I feel like, I feel like this is you in this three of wands. Um, this person's protecting in the environment. Justice. Page of Wands reverse. So someone is receiving bad news and it seems karmic. It seems like karma is playing out very clearly in the environment of whoever is reading this is. Someone is receiving bad news and it looks very clearly like it's karma. This could also have to deal with the court system. There could be a legal, legal case happening. But Everyone in this inner circle here that knows whoever this is, um, they know what's going on with them. They might have received bad, bad news in regards to a legal case. Um, or there's a message they don't want to get out there. Someone's hoping or fearing something to do with you. Queen of Cups in the upright. Kind. Um, unconditionally loving. Feminine energy. Very intuitive. Something about you. You're in the upright here. So I don't know if someone's hoping for something with you or if they're afraid of something with you. Outcome, chariot, reverse. So this looks like someone's losing control of a situation um, in their environment. 
Hmm. Okay. So I'm the deck. The sun reverse. Someone who's very disillusioned with something. I feel like this is a masculine energy who, um, is just very unclear. It's like they want to heal, but maybe they party too much or they've got a lot of like, you know, other options that they're dealing with a lot of partying or something like that, or there could be some other reason why they're confused or in a fog. Um, wrath, lust, these are all like the, the, the not so good choices. It's being in a fog, not knowing how to move on to heal or someone's very confused about it or what's going on with the six of swords. Okay, so something's happening to someone. Something's happening to someone. Someone's getting something and they're moving forward with it. And I guess this person feels confused about that. I think that's what I said initially. Someone feels like, I don't know, like I feel like they want to confuse someone who's getting something. They're moving on and healing. And then there's this energy here that just feels so fragmented. It doesn't feel right with this. I almost feel like it's interference or it's someone's Achilles heel. It's hard to tell. Someone feels really um, something about they want to recover to do with this Queen of Swords. House reverse. So their whole, uh, this could be an actual house that is they're losing. They could be losing their home. It might be something you said to this person and they feel like seven of cups reverse this person could have just really gone really far you know into like a very it's like a sin, sinful energy you know it's like biblically sinful seven of cups reverse just really overindulging multiple options, um, just going really, really far with something. And now they're out in the cold and you might've said something to them. They could be losing their house, but there's something here about coming out of the cold with you. This house could also represent a group that comes together in a structure like an organization or something like that. And if that's so, then that whole organization's in trouble. Strength reverse. Someone feels like they don't have the courage for this change. Uh, battery's about to go out. Ace of Pentacles, thief. Hmm. I feel like this has to do with somebody very conscious of something coming towards you because you have this Ace of Pentacles here. And then here it is again. This looks this looks very much like Ace of Pentacles. This looks like the same. So something happened in the past. There's a thief who's looking at this Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles is here. It was here in the past. A thief was interested in it. Here it is again. Now someone's moving on with this Ace of Pentacles while this person has been in a fog and now they're losing everything and this person might have said something about this path, where they're going. Or this is this thief trying to cause confusion. It's like, um, like in the old westerns where somebody gets on a train with a purse and it has a lot of money in it and someone tries to um, confiscate, confiscate whatever it is at the next stop. <laughs> 
you know, they get a bunch of people together to try to, while this person's traveling, create some confusion on the road. Create confusion on the road. Someone could have paid someone to create confusion for, for someone on the road. <laughs> I mean, or something about confusion. Someone's got this unexpected income. They have this blessing here and they're heading w somewhere with it. And someone's all confused and in a fog about it. They're losing everything. Something's changing. They don't have the strength for this. King of Pentacles is going, going to be something very, very truthful and clear. This King of Pentacles has something to say. Adjudication. Huh. So this King of Pentacles this is in the upright. There's something just happening with this person. This is a leader. If they feel maybe they feel very fond of someone. They, there's something that they're very clear about. There's some clear communication, um, and it's going to be just, or something is going to get ironed out that has to do with this King of Pentacles in the upright. This person has like sensitive feelings about something but they're very much a leader and there's going to be some communication this is like going to happen hmm. death and then we'll change the battery something's over something's over with this community huh Something's over with this community. Something's over. Someone could be losing everything here and losing support of this community. It's going to... I think maybe this King of Pentacles is saying something or has really made up their mind this judication. If that's not court, because we have justice here and judication here, whoever this is, is like feeling like they went down the wrong path, I feel like, or they feel like they're... Something's falling apart for them. You said something to them. Maybe they're, I feel like this is someone else. I don't think this is your person from the past. I do get this feeling of like train robber here, like a train robber from the, from the wild west. But now that, per but someone feels really challenged by this Queen of Swords. Someone says something very clearly. This person is also, um, this, this is, this is someone who speaks with, um, this is a balanced perspective. They're, they communicate in a clear and balanced way. And they're willing to listen. So it's hard to be upset or angry with this person. They speak truthfully. Um, hmm. Let me change the battery. This is getting interesting. Okay, I don't know where that... Is. I, I pressed record, but um, as I was picking up the card, these came out. The cards. Message of concern. Karmic feminine. Sudden wealth journey so there's something about I, I this also feels like wealth on a journey this also feels like a train robbery it just feels like a train robbery karmic feminine train robbery a message about a train robbery and since I know we don't have train train robberies now so much um we have travel here, and this is a very similar... In, this is someone traveling with, with money. Money. Journey. And, and there's some concern about it. It's like this person is confused or in a fog. Creating a fog around a money journey. This karmic feminine. Not in someone's family room. Something about reversing someone's occupation, a courtship, great fortune. 
Hmm. Something about creating some kind of confusion while traveling. Oh no. Like someone tried to attack. Did someone try to attack someone in a car? Someone pays someone to attack someone in a car. I mean, that's ridiculous, but someone's doing well, they're healing, they're traveling, and someone's here trying to, to make cause confusion for this person who's usually very clear so that they're, they feel like they need, they, that they can't recover. Because this is how they thief Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> this could be like someone trying to drain someone's energy. Thief, Ace of Pentacles. But, I mean, if this was their, their move, like if you have someone who's like trying to, trying to think of something that's more tangible. It definitely someone's focused on someone healing and things going well for them. So if it's not a literal trip, it's your journey. Trying to like steal something now. This is new. This is not what they did before. This is new energy. <clears throat> this journey card. But there's this king of swords here. But see, you know what? This is also travel. This can be travel as well. Try to make a trip for you very hard. Try to just really, really beat you up while you're while you're waiting for something or while you're traveling. But you're protected though. And this King of Swords sees everything. And the next thing you know for this person is a huge death. Community reverse, everything's over. It's gonna happen very suddenly. There's no, no more room for this stuff anymore. There just isn't. What do we need to know about this? Three of Wands, Nine of Wands, Battle Wounded Soldier. I'm trying to disturb you on your journey, whether that's an actual, like, trip, travels. Someone's trying to reverse your gift. This is like getting, trying to get someone out of the zone. Because if somebody feels like this... Then, it, then they won't have the eye on the prize. Someone's trying to reverse your gift. Creating confusion. Trying to create confusion so you can't heal, so you don't move on with like what's coming towards you. You're traveling with this blessing. It's like they want you to be out in the cold. Or they are, and they're so, like, this is their way of trying something. I don't know. Here we go. So everyone sees bad news for this person. Justice is playing out. Okay, so now we're kind of starting to see who maybe this could be. Main male. Or this person is dealing with this main male who's received some bad news, and everyone can see that it's Justice. Someone's worried about you being this Queen of Cups. So they're trying to really create some sort of distraction or trauma or drama. This is abuse. Doing something over and over and over again. Maybe while you're traveling in your car. Or if it's not a literal trans... trans um, if it's not literal, uh, it could be you just very positive, inspired. Un they want you to be unfocused so that you don't remember the direction. You more feel like angry and frustrated so that you lose this because it's a zone, it's an energy that you carry and that's why they're worried about you in this Queen of Cups. The worst thing that you could do for them is just be loving and content. <laughs> Chariot reverse. Oh, sorry. So queen of cups. Um, child reverse. 
They want you to lose lose your innocence. That like the awe at which you approach the, the universe because they feel like that's how your blessings come. The chariot reverse. Um, they tried to throw you off of your chariot. So what's going to happen to them is this person's going to be thrown off of their chariot. That's what this is. This is more traveling. I mean, it just feels like, it really does feel like highway robbery or a train robbery or something like that. That's the kind of energy it has. Like Wild West kind of stuff. It's also a traveling card. Um, this is exactly what they're trying to do to you. This, this person's in control of their environment. This person is not. This person is on two moving vehicles. On two moving vehicles. And they're in control. This person has lost control of their environment. And who is it that lost control of their environment? It's this karmic feminine. So this is like exact, exact to the T karma. Exactly what they meant for you is exactly what they're going to experience. And they also they're going to receive this lack of sudden wealth. And they're going to be disillusioned. There's going to be no sunlight, no sunlight, no joy, no satisfaction, and no, no sudden wealth. That's the universe answering back. And king of this king of swords could be Archangel Michael. <sighs> the universe doesn't like this behavior. They're upset because there's something about this king of pentacles. They feel like this king of pentacles is, is sees, sees the truth about you. So this all seems like, I don't know what they did. I mean, if this is actually depends on where you live and all that kind of stuff. But if this person had got, had any money, they instantly spent it on a organized crime. I, I mean, I have to say it cause I see it like this really could be someone who paid someone to try to like, you know, I guess that would be like, how much is it? $150? for the day for someone to harass you in your vehicle. So they could have done that. Like they could have, if they had a thousand dollars higher, you know, eight, seven or eight people, if they had $10,000, you know, it just depends on how much they had. Um, I really feel like that's what this is. Um, like out, outlaw energy, you know, um, and just really disgusting is what it is. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to know? So trying to dominate your energy confuse you, make you feel confused, dominate your energy and make you feel confused. So what's the answer to that? Yeah, trying to create a lack of harmony for you. So if you were like feeling really, really good and blessed, this person's thing is, well, let me, um, you know, They want you to feel like, was I confused that things were going in my favor? Um, I'm healing, I'm traveling, I'm good. Um, yeah, and if it isn't literal, because there's so many traveling cards here. Um, let's see here, so if it's not literal, I'm not sure it's that independence. I'm 
trying to shut down that healing energy, that independence that you feel. It's almost like trying to punish you for receiving a blessing and healing. Trying to create a fog, make you feel out of sorts. Um, acquisitions, they don't want you to have. They don't want you to be out in the cold and not have anything. They don't want you to feel independent and they want you to feel out in the cold and not have any. This is like definitely like someone who, I don't know if they're trying to, how they're, if it's not literal, um, trying to create confusion for you somehow. I don't know how, uh, if it's not literally in the car, because that's just what I'm getting from this reading. And maybe this is only a few of you and take what resonates. If this has not happened to you, then, then maybe it's not your reading. If this is not happening right now. Then it, then it just feels very specific to me. I mean, unless there's something else that I'm missing as far as like, if it's not travel, sometimes I see it later after I do the reading. So maybe you'll, um, if it's not travel, maybe there's something that this is like, you know, um, trying to, I mean, this could be blocking your journey of healing, that it could be that trying to make sure that you stay confused about what's yours and what's not so that you don't feel independent you feel confused you don't know what your options are it's all about like creating a fog it's an illusion this person um doesn't want you to have strength doesn't want they don't have the strength but they don't want you to have the strength the spiritual strength to connect with people to be independent to connect with with others um, this person knows that something came to you and this is their, this is their plan. They know that there's some sort of blessing, um, around you or you have it already. Um, and they immediately zeroed in on it. Yeah. Inheritance, your divine inheritance. They're zeroed in on your divine inheritance. This is how they're trying to stop you now. I'm pretty sure you know what, you know, for one, uh, Okay, well, let me get back to this. Revenge. Reverse. This king of pent... They know this king of pentacles has nothing against you. They're pretty... They're sure about what they want to do. This isn't some sort of impulsive choice. They know... They feel like someone wants to come towards you that's pretty amazing. Um, a masculine energy who's very dependable and, like grounded I feel like this person is at odds with that person so it's almost like before that can happen they want to lower your energy so much that you're not you're not capable of connecting in in a positive manner but it, then it looks like this death is coming right really quickly show me what happens community reverse they don't want you to know something. Something about restlessness. You're not restless. Something about this. It's like this communication is blocked. There's some blocked communication, blocked restlessness. It's the end of the situation. It's the end of the situation with this community. Someone is not restless. They're definitely trying here to block your your uh, your vision. Yeah, your negotiations. It's all about like trying to like confuse you and distract. And this is like energy draining 101. Well, if it's not in the car, I don't know what else. I don't know your personal situation, but this is how this is someone's direct tactic is to drain your energy uh, and frustrate you so that. Um. <laughs> so that you can, you know, get out there and invigorate it and make new, new friendships and use the flow of your blessing. So I would definitely say, you know, all the things that you do to, um, all the things that you do to heal yourself, to shake this energy off for sure. Um, don't sit in it. If you feel like someone's coming after you, 
in whatever capacity it is. Do not sit in this and just also know that this isn't from, it's not coming from you. Um, so I would just observe the confusion. If you feel confused or drained, um, for, give yourself a pat on the back and tell yourself, I love you. Um, and say, you're doing great. And, um, you know, you're safe and protected and the universe is protecting you. Um, and, um, that and do it all of your other stuff that you know how to do to raise your vibration because that's what this is it's just like trying to lower your vibration um justice is playing out for someone here in the um environment flattery and for whoever this fake nice guy is is this card always comes out with this person everyone knows that this person is fake there's some sort of bad news connected to this person. Justice karma is playing out for this person. I don't know what the details are about it, but things aren't going well for that person. That's the person that really, you know, was one of the people close to your masculine from the past that really wanted to block you. Um, just very, very malicious and jealous. Uh, jealous, yeah. Queen of Cups, someone doesn't want you to be this loving, kind soul. <laughs> That's going to be tough. Um, criticism reverse. Hmm. So I feel like that's part of whatever this is, is for you to feel um, like you did something wrong. To feel um, shamed or if you, you know, if you feel cranky. You might be hard on yourself if you feel cranky. It could be that. Um, other people criticizing you. They might have criticized you a lot. Or if there's some sort of someone's criticizing you. It's somehow it's like you bouncing. It has to do with like your innocence. This has to do with like your heart. Your awe, your inspiration. Your, it's all about your innocence. They don't want that. They don't want you to be unconditionally loving. And then we have Chariot Reverse for this Karmic Feminine. They're the ones that actually end up losing control. Chariot Reverse. Somehow you know this already. And actually this person does as well. Right now they're in a fog. They're in a fog. They think that this is working. Whatever the fog they want you to be in, they're the ones that are in a fog. Domination reverse. These tactics do not work. And they will not work. And it's going to be this person that's in the fog. Not you. Um, this all has, this has to do with authority. Try to challenge your authority as well. So that you don't have like, you know, you're not in the right balance. Energetic balance. But your chakras are all off. And you're confused and cranky and mad at yourself for reacting the wrong way and distracted and can't think straight and not feeling loving, feeling, feeling cranky around other others. Um, you know, not liking the way you're reacting to things or something like just whatever, um, whatever that is just so you're not in the right energy to receive this blessing and move forward with it with a lighthearted spirit. That's, essentially what this person's trying to do. So I feel like this is um, helpful. It's all about like trying to like weaken your spirit. Weaken your spirit, changing the tide so that you can't connect. Um, pretty clear it's all pretty clear and so that you can't negotiate you don't think clearly enough to negotiate you can't connect you forget what your goals are everything feels blurry um unclear um so let me get one more so that means that you should do the opposite Tell yourself, I love you. Uh, 
get down on your knees and have gratitude for something. If you feel like you did something that is, is beneath you, ask for forgiveness. What else do we need to know? Because um, you're instantly forgiven. Instantly forgiven. And loved. It's more about your own forgiveness for yourself. And it's all an illusion, all of this. This is working on you very hard. So you feel cranky. Not in your love energy. Not independent. Confused. Don't know which direction. You feel like you need someone to help. Like you don't remember what you're doing. What do I need to know? Talking over you. It's just about, about being louder than your own energy. It's like trying to drown you out. Trying to drown you out. Trying hard to lower your self-esteem. Yeah. Yeah, looking to pick up a fight with you. Trying to make it hard, you know, to turn others against. It's hard trying to make it so you can't connect. Lower your self-esteem. I definitely feel like in some cases it's physical. I really do feel like someone paid someone. And I just think, you know, whoever this is, is like totally insane. Somebody paid someone to like harass you. That's what I think. I, I really do. And I, that's not that far out. It sounds conspiratorial, but it's just really not. There are, there are nasty people in the world. There are people who, who live criminal lives and they do stuff like that's what they do. You give them however much money. That's an easy job for them. They probably enjoy it. It makes them feel powerful. Give them a couple bucks and then you're out, you know, at the grocery store or wherever you're at and you, you end up with these random strangers acting like idiots around you um, for however many days this person could afford um, and try to ruin your mood. Strength reverse. The fact that they have those types of connections shows what kind of a person they are. Fake friends since the beginning. Not sure what that is. Because there's something about friendship reversed here and then fake friends since the beginning. Someone's not a true friend. Something about someone's not a true friend. They will expose themselves. There's something else going on here too. That's a whole other thing that I know. There's something else going on. I have to get to the bottom of this. So someone here wants to steal your blessing in the recent past. They've made a choice and this is their plan. Here, inheritance, Ace of Pentacles, unexpected income. about trying to they want to take control over the situation and make you seem weak oh. <laughs> okay inheritance in the recent past <laughs> well your return to sender backfired on them you should know that then I guess this is the new tactic and I guess it's because of this king of pentacles here Adjudication. I'm not going to share that one because it's a little bit too far out. Uh, what else is there? Someone doesn't want you to connect with this King of Pentacles. Something about... Something has been blocked for your protection. I was looking over here when that came out. I don't know what that means yet. What about this community reverse death? Oh, they're telling people you're fake. Nice. Negotiate. 
negotiations. King of Swords is here. Something about a contract. Someone's working really hard on something. Someone's trying to negotiate something. Someone's trying, someone wants someone to lose the gift. Someone, someone want, they don't want you to get the gift. Something you're hanging in there. You're doing something. And something about you. Maybe you're negotiating something or they don't want you to be able to. But there's this King of Swords here. He's very just and has a very clear vision. I feel it's very protective of you. I want to say also about the cards. If you, if you, if you have not seen that. Um, in a very obvious way that I'm not talking to you because and I heard a ding because I don't want it to feel um, paranoid so it's, it's already happened it would have been very very obvious nice guy doesn't understand you that's the one that's going they can't understand how you know what you know something about the fact that they can't understand you is partially one of the reasons why they're your enemy which doesn't make sense but you're not karmic so that's why it doesn't make sense to you um queen of cops critique haters are mad because they see you winning they can't seem to they're still in this love energy. They don't want you to come across as innocent. They're trying to criticize you. It's not working. That's what they're afraid of, is that you continue being this loving energy. Whoever this is, they can't dominate you. They're losing. They lose control of their own environment. They're trying to... Uh, They will play victim. They're going to act like victims. That's what they're going to do when it gets really bad. Um, they really want you to call them out, I guess, as well. Okay, wow. we got some real nasty characters here. Um, some really nasty characters. Else do we need to know about whoever this is? Okay, so this is about drowning out your voice. You lose your independence. Trying to lower your self esteem. Make you feel confused. Someone's working really hard. This feels like multiple people to me. Feels like multiple people. Usually it's not, it's, this is a, usually it is very, very clear. There's multiple people here. There's a lot of people here. Okay, there are multiple people. There's a karmic feminine, there's a fake nice guy, there's a mother, there's someone here with a god complex. Huh. So there could be someone who's an artist. Got the femme fatale card. There's someone who's a judge. There's a lot, a lot of people involved. Hmm. What else do we need to know? Let's dig in. Someone's talking. It's definitely about challenging you, that's for sure. 
someone's in sorrow over your journey or they want to create sorrow on your journey. It's another car traveling card. Someone wanted to upset you on your journey. Multiple people wanted to upset you on your journey. How petty is that? Foe on your journey. Why do I, am I seeing a car creating, that's what I'm saying, like, or if you're on a trip or something like that, I don't know what this is. This is weird behavior. This is someone trying to really make your trip unenjoyable or your drive or your train. Maybe you're on the train. Maybe they're, I don't know what this is. Cause you know what? That's so weird, but people really do do that stuff. Can't have to be, be not naive about this. You know, it's not conspiratorial because there's someone here who <clears throat> obviously is very concerned with you. Right. And this is a hater, big time hater, multiple individuals here for some reason. I'm not sure who all these people are. Um, try to drown out your voice confuse you so you don't feel independent but you've got this blessing you have this blessing so now it's like how to like it's almost like trying to knock something out of your hand so that you're just tired <clears throat> you feel like everyone hates you or something sweetheart reverse they're trying to turn you upside down so you're not sweet and nice <laughs> they're trying to turn you upside it's also you're not independent so you don't know what to do with this um blessing really working hard wow their challenges wow i think this karmic feminine feels very much um weakened by you they don't want you to have something someone someone's trying hard to lower your self-esteem trying to look Trying to pick a fight with you. That's what I mean, like trying to, it's like wherever you go, there's someone there picking a fight or something. What is this? I don't know what I'm getting, like random people just hating on you. All right, so, um, there's something, something about a friendship and this journey, someone's strength about someone's journey. There's journey, journey card again. Someone's not a true friend on this journey. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to block this inheritance, steal this inheritance, steal this blessing. Um... not in the room someone's not someone's friend someone's not someone's lover that has to do with blocking this blessing but then we've got this king of pentacles someone's sick about it someone's sick or this king of pentacles has to say has some truth some truth to say about someone's sickness Something's been blocked for your protection. Someone's sick. There's something about this King of Pentacles. Some truth. Something's not going to be a surprise in the near future. Someone's not restless. It, it's something about someone's nerves here. Something's going to be stopped in the community. Whoever this is that's like trying to defame you. There's a death here. A total ending for someone. Negotiation. Love. They don't want you to negotiate with love. <laughs> they don't want you to get the gift or the blessing. Justice. Foe. This has to do with this fake nice guy. Some lie or something must have come out or some sort of bad news that if this person has been trying to do something to you, something came out. I don't know what that is, but it's it's coming it's coming out in a way that's very karmic, and people can see see it. 
This person is, doesn't want you to win and be this nice, loving person. They've been trying to criticize you. They don't want people to think of you as innocent. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of people. Um, they don't want you to be in reunion. And I heard a ding. Something about... They don't want to be me melancholy because you're in reunion. And there's like all of these people here. There's a lot of people involved. There might be more people involved than you realize but with all whatever this is. Outcome is this person's, um, you're not going to be in sorrow. This person's going to be trying to get out of sorrow. Chariot reverse, not in control of their environment. There's something about if someone's not someone's friend in, in the subconscious. And it's now under the deck. Friendship. Friendship reverse. Hmm. I still feel like there's something else going on here. I'm going to take a second to meditate on this. What I definitely know for sure is that somebody is... It's definitely about like lowering your self-esteem and causing confusion and draining your energy. Make you feel cranky and not loving. Being cranky with people. Feeling not, not just feeling foggy, not sure, you know, maybe frustrated, feeling frustrated, all that stuff. But I feel like there's more than one person here. Wow. It's a whole gaggle of people trying to turn you upside down. They don't want you to be independent. Good advice from a wise person. All right, so this is for you from Spirit. Something about March. This could have started in March, maybe, or something about March. Scales. Keep your life in balance. Just keep, keep your life in balance. Increase in material wealth or spiritual spiritual growth so no matter <laughs> so i think what it's saying is no matter what this person is doing or these people this maybe there's something that started in march for you i don't know what march means but just continue to keep your life in balance you have all the tools um, maybe there's, you had an idea in March or you noticed a shift in March, continue doing whatever that, that flow is. Maybe that's what that is. And you know, whatever they're doing, it just, it doesn't matter. An increase in material wealth or spiritual, spiritual growth. That's what's coming to you. You know? We got an interjection. This is what we're trying to say. This is the spiritual advice from spirit, from the highest high. Angelic help. Uh, keep your life in balance. Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. I think we just leave it there. Dagger. <laughs> fear fear worries tense situation oh wow underneath this take care enemies are working against you so maybe we don't leave it there so it is it's and it's enemies plural it is a tense situation you've got multiple people here okay Everything's going your way. And when it says keep your life in balance, things are really balancing out for you in a really good way. And so keep, just stick with what you have. Keep, stick with what's good. You know, obviously, you know, you can see, hopefully this message is helping you um, could sort of clarify. And it could be energetic. I don't know who you're dealing with. There's so many of us here. 
And this is definitely not to make you feel paranoid about someone paying someone or whatever. I feel like that's a small, small group. And you would know, you would know very, very clear, clear. You'd see someone's looking to pick a fight with you. It's happening in your car. It's happening multiple times. It's very clear. It's very clear. Uh, you know, you see the same car all the time, that kind of stuff. Because, you know, they wouldn't be trying to hide themselves because they're trying to pick a fight with you. And it's not to, like, hurt you physically. It's to drain your energy. So, um, again, you're, you're safe. And you would already know. So don't get paranoid about that happening to you, okay? If you haven't had it happen, then it's not going to. Um, and if it does happen, just keep your life in balance. You know, don't let them throw you off. That's the whole thing, is to make you feel like, why won't they leave me alone and feel sad? Feel sad and, like, hated, like everyone hates you. No one, you know, people who are normal and balanced don't hate someone who's loving for no reason. Um, I just turned that off. Um, so is it real? Is it real that it's a tense situation with people who are working against you? That is real. So you're, so you're not like, you know, things are flowing for you and people don't like it. And it seems like there's multiple. I don't know that they're working together. I don't know that. I'm not getting that. It feels scattered. And the energy feels scattered with that. Um, so let's get one more. Okay. I know it's a longer reading, but yeah, maybe to make you feel depressed. So, and that's why it's Seven of Cups. It's an illusion. Yeah, to see the signs. To see the signs of things like not working out. To make you feel sick and depressed. It's going to have started on Tuesday. Thursday. Bad vibes. What else do we need to know about this? It's all about control. Could be something going on with court case here. Um, and it could be using technology. There could be just not evil intentions. Some of these people could be doing dibble dabbling in spiritual stuff as well. What's this about this friendship? A, B, C, D is crying. I don't know what that means. Someone's not someone's friend. A, B, C, D is crying. There were some lies. A, B, C, D is crying. There were some lies. This is standing out pretty clearly to me here. This death card. What do we need to know about that? Death. It could be a Taurus, Aries, Libra. Cancer or a water sign involved. Someone's a cheater. Someone's trying to mirror someone here. Someone's a cheater that tries to either they play with the mirrors or they're mirroring you. That's how they cheat, and that's how the guides, the guides from this the higher vibrations, the lightest vibrations, that's their uh, opinion of this behavior, uh, what this water sign who is working with a Taurus, Cancer, Libra, or Aries, um, using technology, um, this person trying to create endings for you, 
and trying to mirror you somehow. They, they, they're a cheater, that's what... The higher vibrations feel about this uh, water sign doing this. Mirroring is cheating. Something about money. Money, sorrow, money. They're in sorrow over money, not you. They're sor in sorrow over your money or their money. The mirroring is the cheating. Cheating is the mirroring because it's something. Something about cheating has to do with they're cheating somehow by mirroring you. Because we always wanted to know why is it so much? Why is copying you such a big part of this? So from their perspective, there's something about the way that they're they're trying to gain some somehow by trying to mirror you, copy you, while simultaneously doing all this stuff. Somehow, why is mirroring cheating? Union. Union. Has to do with union. Right, because it's like they're trying to be your doppelganger so that you don't go into union. So they're cheating so that you don't go into union. It's trying to be you so that you don't go into union. They're trying to block you and be you so that you don't go into union. Trying to create endings for you. From their perspective, this person is a cheater and, or the way they're cheating by using the mirroring. You are awake though. <laughs> um, this person has a mental illness person has a mental illness, they have fake friends, um, the Divine Masculine is on drugs, could be on drugs, using a lot of drugs, you're awake, the Divine Masculine is on drugs. This person has a mental illness. Um, something about your north node. <sighs> Hidden cameras, phones have GPS spying data collection. What do we need to know about that? <laughs> I feel like I know what that is. I feel like that has to do with Okay, hidden cameras, phone tap, empty vessel. I just think of that as like a person who is operating without spirit. They're just, just not serving a purpose. That's how I think of that. So hidden cameras, phone tap, GPS spying, data collection. So it's a person who's operating without spirit and spying. So either this person is being spied on and there's some collection on this person or this person is an empty vessel that is spying. Oh my gosh, okay. What? Noise and distractions. It's connected to this empty vessels. I'm trying to bully you. N-O-P, corruption, 
someone with initials M, N, or a P could be part of this. And I heard a ding. And there's some sort of corruption here. People could be dibble dabbling in stuff as well. Wow. People are something about last week. A Virgo or an Aquarius. Something about romance. I don't know what that's about. Something new. That must be very specific for someone. Something about this new romance. Something to do with Wednesday. Archangel Michael is here. You, you know in your heart you, you're getting the messages. Or you're, you're supposed to go into, into the place where you feel like you can connect. Do it now. Um, this, something about someone who's unhinged. Um, a female presenting person is unhinged. This person is unhinged. Cleanse your space. Um, this person is a user. Something about you is what they call you. You're the baby. Baby prayers. Your, your prayers. Something about your prayers. Bad habits. Email. Confusion. Nature. Thinking. Go to nature to think. Something about a conversation. Something about self-love. Go to nature to think. Practice self-love. Um, acceptance. Self-acceptance. This is getting more guidance for you. It's okay. It's all okay. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Um, it's going to be okay. And anything else? Something about an air sign? An air sign's health? Something about um, alignment in the home. Maybe use candles. Get aligned in the home. Use your candles. However, whatever that means. Something about Monday. Something about beauty. Something, some, someone's insecure about someone's beauty, Look, looking at you, or someone's seeing their beauty and feeling insecure about it. There, maybe there's a mean family around, around someone's looks. There's someone here who's addicted, who's feeling very empty. There's something about news and trades and media involved. Um, someone's going to have to have a lot of strength for this heartbreak around clout. Um, yeah, it has to do with business. Someone feels really, like, insecure about how beautiful you are. Something about you. I, I don't know about something coming out. Yeah, this healing that, this healing that you've been going through starting last year. Um, and this person made a choice. And now they feel like they're headed to a really bad place. Saturn, karma, yeah, karmic, karma, Saturn. Um, they've done some research on this. They know they're blocked. 
And they know for you that every dream's coming true. You're heading towards your destiny. Um, and if you need anything from spirit, you just need to ask. That's it. You just need to ask. So I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.